Maybe we can, what the hell? Something's coming at us. Oh, right there. Another man down. Whoa. <laughs> Hello everybody, Graystool plays, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. No time for BS. So this is new and exciting. There is a multiplayer option in the game now, and I am inside of the game with a major workshop contributor over here. Trance is his name, and he has a lot of vehicles that he has created for the workshop. This is also my first trial of the multiplayer portion of the game, and I think that this is amazing. I'm so glad that they made this thing multiplayer. Oh, sweet Jesus! This is also my first trial with this vehicle, and I am very quickly learning that the <laughs> the traction of the wheels is a little bit more than I could tolerate. Well, that was new and exciting, mother of God. So we've gone faster than anything possible. We managed to go 999 kilometers per hour by exploding uh, ra randomly. I don't know what the hell caused us to explode. It was probably my failure to understand what wheelie bars were. Oh my god, you guys don't think I forgot that from the last video, do you? Now, I guess I had to preface my time in Brick Rigs by saying that I don't know anything about racing, realistically. I think I've watched it a total of two or three times on TV, and then I've played some video games involving it. But, uh, the last video game I probably raced with was, uh, Ridge Racer? What was that? From, like, uh, the very fr Oh my god, there's the track and the two people that are on it. From the very first PlayStation? Hold on, let me see if I can get myself back on the track. Nope! Falling right through the world! Oh, Christ. This is going to be a hell of a thing. Okay, so I think I managed to stop exploding through the Earth now. There are- Oh! There- Oh my god, Trent! <laughs> Okay, well that was another player as we just saw there. Well, that that's what was left of a player after he went flying through the brick rigs uh, objects. Now, what I had mentioned with this, this gentleman is I really wanted to get the vehicles together and see if we could do some crash testing. I think he's cleaning up the roadway there. You can see one of the drag racers just kind of laying in the middle of nowhere. Oh, Destroyer's giving us access to his dragster. Let's take this thing for a spin. All right, now we've got, there's a set of wheelie bars on the back there. I know the, I know the nomenclature nowadays. Let's go ahead and get set right up here and see what this thing can do. Now, someone had mentioned that if you get up to the line, you can press the little button here, I think. Ooh, yep, you can press the little button there to get your, uh, get your thing going. And, uh, well, we've kind of creeped past the line, but we're really the only ones here, so who cares? Let's do this! Let's see how fast this thing gets going. Oh, there was a wheel! The wheels are... Okay, this is not normal. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now, there's no... Jesus. There's no uh, slow motion in multiplayer, sadly. Oh, hi, train! <laughs> this is what multiplayer has become. It's become an exercise in slamming the living shit out of each other with our vehicles. Oh, this is new and exciting. I'm driving the vehicle from like four feet above the vehicle. I've mastered the art of levitation. This is what multiplayer does, folks. It doesn't look like the wheels are really connected on this particular dragster. They're just kind of like flopping around. Very interesting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, here we are. We are set up for an appropriate drag. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. We're going. Ah, we're getting shot by someone, I think. There's flames now coming from the engine, but the engine is still working. We're up to 300 kilometers per hour, and as wobbly as this thing is, I'm still going. All right, now things have taken a turn for the worse. And every... I've managed to destroy two cars in one shot. Well, that's nice. All right, I had to show you guys this. This is not a race car, but this is pretty damn legit. This is a tank that was created by Trance, and damn it, it looks good. Let's go ahead and clean up some of the issues on the old track here. Don't really hear any pew pew sounds right now. That's the only issue. We're finding all kinds of interesting things. Oh, look at all this. We're finding all kinds of interesting things going on with the multiplayer. There's, he's just, he's seated, floating through the air in a seated fashion. Now he's kind of like caterwobbling all around. That's very interesting. Holy crap. This tank goes surprisingly fast. Uh, I'm almost afraid to turn. Oh, we are sliding. We're sliding. Okay, everything's fine now. So what I'd like to do is, oh god, let me see if I can get, no, 
Okay, so what I was going to say is I was going to try and recover the vehicle so that I could kind of clear up the track a little bit with this big beefy bastard. We've got a freaking drag racer right in front of us. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Bwah! The only way we know how. How does a tank fall to pieces against a drag racer made out of like two beams? This is ridiculous. Whoa! Oh god! Oh, do you guys see this? What is happening over here? <laughs> oh, Trance, you poor bastard. This is fantastic. Oh, his vehicle is having is having some sort of orgasm. Some sort of strange methamphetamine fueled insanity. Oh, it's flying. It's flying now. No, it's hovering. It's possessed. It's possessed by the devil. Call an exorcist out. I don't even know what's happening. I wonder if we can turn and like try and fix it. Let me see here. Maybe we can. What the hell? Something's coming at us. Oh, right there. Another man down. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, the glitches are real. Oh, they're majestic in their own right. Oh, it's so good. Hold on. we I got to get out of this. Look at what's that. Look, I, we need to see this up close. We need to see the spasming tank in its, in its natural habitat. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Oh, Trey. <laughs> There's just wheels and pieces everywhere. It's breaking the boundaries of natural science. Okay, we've got a drag racer over here that I think's in one piece. So let me go ahead and throw this thing in reverse and see if we can, nope, we can't do shit with it. I guess maybe the engine's damaged or something. I wanted to show this off if I could keep it in one piece for long enough. Someone did the My Summer Car. How cool is that? It's the little Satsuma. I'm curious if it has, oh, I was curious if it had any kind of like little emblems or anything on it. It doesn't have the greatest engine in it, but remember, everyone was saying the the uh, Satsuma that takes after the what was it, the Datsun 100A or something, only has an inline four in it, a one liter inline four. So I'm not sure what the high, what the quickest speed you could get with that was. Again, I'm not a car person. I just really enjoy this game. So don't uh, don't bash me for my complete lack of knowledge. I'll slowly try and learn though. You know, I'm not gonna be. I don't want to be one of those people that just stays ignorant forever about vehicles. I do I do want to legitimately try and learn. It just might take a little while. There comes Destroyer, nose first, flying. Wow, he actually kept his, uh, <laughs> he kept a straight line. Nose down, things were going quite well on it. We can get up to 52 kilometers per hour. Come on, we gotta at least get as fast as we as we were able to in, in, the, in the My Summer Car series. Hold on here. Oh, we're starting to get a little bit of wobble at right around 80. <laughs> oh, shit. And we're stuck on the... Oh, no, we're not stuck. I was going to say we're stuck on the center beam. Here we go, boys. Little bit of off-road racing with the Satsuma. I feel like if I turn this thing in any way... Yep, I knew it would happen. We would flip. Hold on. There, it's still mostly in one piece. I mean, there's like now 10 other pieces on the ground. But all the pieces that matter are still here. Also, this is another vehicle. You know what? Hold on. Let me let me bail out of this and just kind of let the Setsuma go. This was another vehicle that... Let me see if I can recover this somehow. Right here. There we go. That Trance made. Very interesting. Very cool vehicle. It can get a lot of speed out. Let me see if I can <laughs> kind of move past all the little blocks in there, have you? All right. We're losing a panel or two. Get past... All of the, God, there's so many things on the board right now trying to kill us. And I want to see how fast we can get this thing going. Usually right around 300 kilometers per hour, it starts to take off. And by off, I mean it starts to lift up off the ground. We're doing pretty good though. 330. Oh, don't hit the wall, Gray. Come on, you can recover. Nope, we can't recover. Now, <laughs> oh no. Wow. Oh, that was awesome. I think we managed to blow the vehicle in as many possible pieces as we could. We're gonna try and go head to head with Trance. Whoop <laughs> Oh, his vehicle stayed, I was gonna say in one piece, but it looks like it crumpled in on top. Oh no, it isn't one piece. It just looked like it crumpled in on top of one another like a like a tin can or something like that but look when you look at it here i don't think that the way we see the vehicles is the same way that other people see it 
because it, we see his vehicle in one piece, but I think it's because there's so much destruction on the board that there can't be any more bricks rendering. I don't know, man. The developer's still working on the multiplayer function. It's still very beta-y, but it's so cool getting the opportunity to play with people. Oh, this is great. This is another vehicle from Trance. This is his LP Formula One. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And I'd like to see, oh God, things are happening. I would like to see how well this thing performs. Now it has that big ass V8 engine in it, as you can hear. In one of the comments, someone had mentioned that most Formula One cars have V, um, not V, I should say, uh, four cylinders and V6s in them, which is quite interesting. I don't know if we have any Formula One gearheads or uh, other individuals that have raced Formula One vehicles. Oh my God! Whoa! <laughs> But if we do, feel free to leave that information in the comment section so everyone can be informed about the power of Formula One cars. <laughs> Getting past all of the death and debris of my various compatriots, let's line up and see how fast we can get this thing doing. Now, there's still a lot of stuff laying on the runway, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to kind of get around it. Okay, we're doing good. Right past the first flipped vehicle, the first dragster on the ground. There goes Destroyer in the tiny little go-kart. He's kind of wandering around here and there. Mr. Fix-It at the end of the track. Oh my God, we got some wheel shank or whatever it's called going on here. But we recovered. We were, never mind. We did not recover. There goes our engine. Our engine completely flying from the vehicle itself. And oh, we're going to land. We're, oh, come on, 10 points. We almost landed inside of this dragster. That's awesome. Yes. Hold on, can we... Does it, does it run? It doesn't seem to be running. I wonder why. Oh, 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 the dragster's moving like a windmill. It's flipping and flopping around in all kinds of horrible ways. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Holy shit. Okay, I think it stopped. Everything's fine now. Everything's fine with the dragster. I'm gonna walk away slowly. I want to show you guys something different real quick. This is the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. It was made by someone called Magnum Farce. And holy crap, the level of detail he put into this vehicle is just amazing it is so epic let me go ahead and get rid of some of the controls there i i gotta tell you just the the time and effort that the people are putting into these various vehicles are so awesome whoa mr fix it going by he dodged everything that was fantastic the only issue i can immediately see with this ecto one is it's so heavy there's so many blocks on this thing that it moves very, very slowly. Well, it accelerates very, very slowly. Once it gets going, it doesn't really look that bad. Actually, it looks like we're moving pretty damn good. 66 kilometers per hour, 67 kilometers per hour. Yeah, yeah, this thing could, this thing could be a contender. Going up to 80 in a little bit here. This just has one of the regular motors in it. It doesn't have any kind of like crazy V8 motor or anything. So it doesn't have a huge amount of power. The steering is, oh, this is a drifter, boys. Look at our drifting, hold on. Yeah, oh no, we're starting to lose it. No, Echo one damn it. Come on, baby, get back on those wheels. Nope. And I think that's gonna be the end of the multiplayer today. I, I, I'm not sure if the server crashed or whatever, but we basically all got kicked off. It's very beta and I'm really glad to see it as an addition though. So to kind of end things off, we've got this wonderful vehicle here. I'm going to be driving it straight into these two brick rigs tanks right here. There you go. I was really interested to get the opportunity to take a look at the multiplayer aspect of the game. And it is very fun as, as kind of new and beta as it is right now. There's a lot of improvements to be made and I'm looking forward to those. And just getting the opportunity to play with you guys, if I ever see you on, and to try all of the different workshop creations that people make, and maybe get the opportunity to do a little kart racing or something against everyone else would be fun. We've got this whole racetrack here. I'd really like to take advantage of it. Guys, I hope you're enjoying Brick Rigs. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.